Hi again. In this lecture, we're going to talk about inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform. Okay. If you have not watched Laplace transform itself, you will never understand inverse Laplace transform because it depends on your understanding on the, of the previous videos. So please watch the vi previous videos before you watch this video. Inverse Laplace transform. Okay, it's like you know, you know the integral. Integral. I just want to make an example. For example, if we if we want to make the derivative of uh, or the integral of exponential of two t t t. What we did, we just multiply by two and we divide by two, right? And then we just made it as it is. The lot of 2t plus c. What we did, we add something to the function to be able to integrate. We add something to the function to be able to integrate. The same idea with Laplace, we add something to the function to get Laplace transform of. So we'll get the picture of Laplace. We'll add some things to it to make it easy to integrate. So in Laplace, we will take Laplace. So for example, take Laplace transform, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s cube. Oh, 1 over s cube. OK. We don't know that. But we know that the t square, Laplace transform of t square, is equal to n factorial over s 2 plus 1, which is 2 over s cube. But this function is not 2 over s cube. So very simple. It's not hard, like the integration. Multiply by 2 and divide by 2. Isn't that hard? Now we know the Laplace transform of uh, the inverse Laplace of 2 over s cube which is actually t square and that's why if I told you if you don't know Laplace transform watch the video previous videos so this will be 2 uh, 1 over 2 t square all the functions like just like that okay this is one function another function Laplace get Laplace transform of this function Laplace transform.